This is the all new Timber Sled Riot, and the name explains everything. Riot was spawned from Timber Sled Tough Aero DNA, then gene mutated by the Timber Sled R&D department into something more responsive, something more reactive, something that feels just like a dirt bike. After just a few seconds of riding, Timber Sled legend Regan Sieg's first comment was, you're not getting this thing back. Brett Turcotte's first comment was, this thing is rowdy. Riot is ready to get rowdy, and it was built to get wild. Riot starts with a new ultra compact, mass centralized forged and extruded aluminum chassis bred from superior Timber Sled Tough Aero Heritage. The chassis is light, rigid, and has been designed by the combined engineering powerhouse might of Timber Sled and Polaris. Now Riot's chassis is 16 inches more compact than Mountain Horse and 10 inches more compact than Aero, reducing weight and centralizing mass. This also means that any gear or cargo you bring is also carried closer to the rider and closer to the bike than ever before, improving Riot's fun factor. Now Riot is compatible with all Aero install kit parts and it's amazing with both a TSS or a solid strut. Riot's entire drivetrain has been optimized to save weight and to spool up quicker to deliver the most dirt bike-like throttle response possible. Riot's jack shaft is lighter, Riot's brake disc is lighter, and it's speed sensor ready. Riot's three new, more efficient drive sprockets have been optimized for weight and improved responsiveness. Riot also gets our new molded brake cover and the new brake disc and molded cover are speed sensor ready. Add a trail tech gauge and you'll see just how fast the new Riot track spools up. The Riot's new Timber Sled Tough side panels are 16.8% lighter than Aero 120 and are definitely built for battle. Sick lines lead back to a wicked strong rear bumper and Riot's new lightweight molded snow flap. Now the heart of Riot is its new patent pending rear suspension. Now forget about what you think you know about a typical snow bike suspension that's designed with snowmobile DNA. Riot's suspension is fueled by savage dirt bike intensity and it's ready to rage with gnar shredding tenacity. <laughs> it is. It's designed to move the effective rear suspension's balance point forward under the rider to better imitate the handling of a dirt bike. In fact, Riot carries 14% less of the rider's weight on the front ski. Now, without getting into all the numbers, what does this really mean? <laughs> it means lean back to wheelie or get up on the tank to corner and climb, just like a bike. Riot's new lightweight rails and suspension components reduce unsprung weight and improve suspension reaction times. Riot is available in black and comes with timber sled engineered rebuildable riot tuned IFP shocks that have been optimized for playfulness and control. Or you can get Riot in limited edition LE trim with specifically designed and sprung Fox QS3 shocks. The QS3s allow you to quickly match your attitude to the terrain. You can flip from wheelie to track to hill climb mode in seconds by adjusting the three position clickers and then dominate the terrain in ways you've never imagined. Riot uses a 120 by 11 and a half traverse track with a two and a half inch paddle. On Riot, the track has been fully ported so it spools quicker and bites harder. <laughs> yes, it's an aggressive track, but ride a Riot and you'll see how the track feels short like a tire, but it provides the flotation and traction of a track. Riot is infused with easy to own aero features like an easy install, pre-bled brake system, a simple chain adjustment, and more. Up front, Riot is ready to battle with its factory installed Deuce Bar Center Skag. The industry's toughest, most responsive center skag provides a light and nimble bite for the front ski and eliminates drag or hang up on obstacles. The bottom line is Riot handles like your dirt bike. And you ride a Riot like your dirt bike. You sit back to wheelie, you get up on the tank to wait the front end to rip a turn. Riot really blurs the line between a dirt bike and a snow bike. And it was bred for maximum fun in any snow condition, in any terrain. It really opens up all those winter features you'd ride your dirt bike on in the summer and would normally ride past in the winter, like the snow-covered gravel pit, the cornfield, 
the woods, ditch banks, creek beds and ravines, or even behind the cabin. And just because you can have a ride in the flats, don't think it's not fully mountain capable, because it is. Can you handle having a riot? If you're ready for downhill wheelies, re-entries, pivot turns, ballistic berm shots, and carrying the front end through the whoops, and the most dirt bike-like feel, then you're ready to have a riot. Go to Timbersled.com or see your local Timbersled dealer or a Timbersled ambassador to learn more about Riot. It feels more like a dirt bike than any snow bike kit I've ridden. You know, this thing is opening up a whole new world from snow bikes. I'm not gonna lie, that is a lot of fire. Hold it, hold it. You know, it's awesome. The new timber sled feels like my motorcycle. More than anything I ever has. Before, you know, in other systems that we've tested, it just feels like you're pushing, you're really working hard. This takes a lot of that kind of effort out of it, and it's more just seamless. It just happens, just as you would on a normal dirt bike. Well, the shorter balance point makes it feel like, almost like there's a tire out back. I mean, it's fundamentally different from the aero platform. Man, I think just with some more time on this thing, it's gonna be just like I'm riding my dirt bike at home. This was a different kind of riding. It was, because I've been riding timber stuff for so long, I felt at home, but it just felt completely different than before. The smile factor is my cheeks really hurt from it, just riding it for a few minutes. Oh, the turn, like from left to right, is so easy to control, and my first impression was the suspension, like we can do wheelies like nothing. Make me feel like riding a mountain bike, so light. Very similar to a dirt bike, very flickable, very movable. Riot is unbelievably fun. The transfer is, the most playful kid I've been on. What surprised me most about the new Timber Sled is how easy the front end comes up. You crack the throttle, the front end comes up. I think you're gonna see guys doing multiple gear wheelies on these things, it's pretty cool. It was a lot of fun and uh, my arms are sore. <laughs> you know, hanging on. It handles like a dirt bike. It is a dirt bike. At Timber Sled, we're all dirt bikers. And most of us have kids. Now there are few things that compare with seeing your son or daughter take off on a dirt bike and really enjoy it. The Ripper lets them enjoy their 110 in the winter as well. The Timber Sled Ripper is a system that lets you quickly convert the 110cc Honda, Yamaha, and Kawasaki dirt bikes from dirt to snow. My dream expectation was to be able to have my boys follow me through the trees and back up into some of our upper basins. That's a pretty tall order for a little bike. So how does it really perform? To find out, I put two of my own boys on the Ripper 93s several different times in varying conditions. And you be the judge. <laughs> <laughs>